member of our panel for the Q&A, we have a Mr. Pure Energy, Mr. Gaddy Valenciano, a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Yes. Hi, everyone. I just want to uh, thank you all for being here. Um, like many of you, you've probably heard a bit about Evolve, but uh, this is the first time it's ever going to happen this, of this kind of magnitude, but this time given fo giving focus on the dancers. Um, I met uh, a number of them outside, and from what I gather, there's going to be about 40 uh, dance groups that are going to perform on that stage uh, in different days of the week. If I could be there every day of the week, I, 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 I sincerely would be there. Um, only because it's different talaga when you focus on a different kind of art, which has so many valuables and so many ways to express itself, which is the, the art of dance. And um, I'm excited to see you know, what these young people have prepared uh, from the eyes from a very seasoned performer like myself. I'm looking forward to it, and I really want to thank all of you for being here because, to be honest with you, there are many artists that long to step on a stage, but many times what is expected of them is to sing or to act, because dancing is, a lot of people think that it's just a simple thing to do. It is not. The rehearsals that are put into it, I think, are the ones that will tell and show everyone that it's not exactly an ordinary kind of art. So that we have been blessed, the country has been blessed with so many, so many talents that even abroad, um, in the world of dance, US, uh, you know, there was a Filipino group that made it uh, all the way up to the finals, which I think is uh, tantamount to saying that it's not just singers that the Philippines has, it's, it's incredible actors and dancers yeah. as well. So there, yeah, I, I'm, I'm open to Sir, this is the biggest dance festival in the Philippines. I think, yeah. I and think it's going to showcase different genres of dance. Yes. Excited, ka, sir, to be able to meet colleagues. Mo oh, because actually, when we did the World of Dance uh, Philippines, there uh, were a lot of people who were really different styles. And then they injected so much to make it world class. So basically, every Almost every group, every individual dancer that stepped on that world of dance stage was world class. They really prepared talaga for it. Now, it's an entire week wherein the public would be able to interact with the activities that are set up specifically for them. So there will be you know, dance uh, workshops and all that, which uh, many TV shows don't have. But this one, it allows the people to really get involved. And it's not one day, it's several days. It's one whole week. Mm -hmm. So it's something to look forward to. Pero sir, di ba nakatrabaho mo si Anon? Sa ASAP, sa Awit, si Billy, at saka si yes. Darren. Yes. Especially sa Awit at Laro. Yes. Um, it's, a, it's a mall tour din, di ba? Mm -hmm. Awit at... But is this your technically the big paid concert event na nakakolaborate mo sila on one stage? Well, is not... this it? Or... No, may, may ah, mga ibang, na, meron pa ibang mga big concerts na pinagahandaan ko. Or something I think that's right. Yeah, there's a. Uh, hindi ito yung big concert na pinaghahandaan ko because um, this one I was invited to be a part of. Yeah. So even if it's Billy's and my names, it's not our concert. It's it's all for the name of dance and uh, Evolve being an international dance fest. See that alone, it's a fest. It's a festival. It's not one big concert. It culminates. With, with a big show, um, but I'm preparing for other events wherein yeah. I can really perform more with Billy and Darren and even AC Bonifacio, who I've always, always been a believer of. Yeah, AC is gonna be there also. See Miss Rose Garcia of the Philippine Entertainment Portal, Metro. Hi, Rose. Well, hello, congrats sa Evolve. Kasi talagang pagdating naman sa dancing, then eh, ikaw ang I don't know kung meron pa kaming hinahanap or meron pa kaming nais maibigay 
sa mga tao na naniniwala sa sarili, hindi sa mayabang na parana, but those who, who know na meron silang talent, pero wala silang avenue to express this. Now, with the workshops, at least, di ba, meron silang makikilala iba't ibang grupo, and not just iba't ibang grupo, but professionals that will be there to assist, to help, to encourage, to teach, uh, and to have workshops talaga. Kasi when you dance, it's not just a matter of coming up on stage tapos galaw-galaw sa tuktog kasi ang dami ng nakakatawa nun eh. There is, there are uh, elements and ingredients na kailangan ng isang dancer. Para sa ganon, talagang pag nakita ng tao, eh yung dating ay isang bagay na hindi-hindi malilimutan ng lahat ng mga nanonood. These are the things that we want to give all of those who are there. Now, when you, when you look at me and you say, Pero kayo po, kayo din talagang hinahalat or whatever. Mine is a super old school kind of, you know, the way I move is old school. But what's nice about dance is that um, it doesn't matter if it's new school or old school. Eh. Basta may tuktok at tama yung galaw mo, makikita mo talaga yung mga nanonood na nag enjoy din sila. So I'm excited to handle that aspect, which is... You know, and it's a great message also for all other dancers who are young. Na, you know, if you really want to be a dancer, you can be a dancer for a long, 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 long time. I've been around for 35 years. My moves have never changed. It's still the same. But still, there must be something right that I'm doing in order to last this long. And the same thing, that's one thing I want to share with all the other dancers as well. Ano po dumating lang siya or... Kasama It's a no. It uh, it was not originally part of the entire plan that I have for the next year. Pero nung nilapitan ako ni Paolo, my son, and he goes, Dad, there's an event that's coming up, and it's a dance fest. Mm -hmm. And when he said the word dance fest. Yung pressure na, naku, ito na naman, sasayaw na naman ako. Parang nawala yung pressure kasi hindi concert ko. Uh, as a matter of fact, binanggit ko sa mga dancers dito sa kabilang kwarto na sila actually ang magiging superstars talaga ng show. Because they're competing. So people are going to watch them and we're going to choose the best among the dancers. Kami, kami nila daily. I mean, people have seen us perform time and time again. But it's always good to see something new. New. Like for example, um, uh, if I may mention uh, local performers like Darren Espanto and AC Bonifacio and, and Lady B. Pai, um, si Nikki Kalma. I mean, all of these are fresh new talents. You might see them on television, but usually on television, but meron silang kasama, hindi kasing galing. Siyempre, they have to tone down para hindi mo bumukhang sinasapawan nila yung kasama nila on stage. This time, it's there. It's their, it's their vehicle talaga. It's their stage. So I wish I could be around to watch every performer perform because I alam ko magiging jaw-dropping ang, ang mga performances ng bawat isa. Thank you. You're Sir, welcome. Ang question po ni Ms. Salve as is to, Filipinos tayo ngayon. Yeah, I saw Salve. Sir, hindi kakanta ba kayo dito or pure sayaw lang? Or yeah, kakanta rin ako. So, yeah, uh, Kakantahin ko yung mga kanta ko na mabibilis na may sayaw. Dito. Kasi I'd like to make a correction ha, to everybody. I'm not... Uh, when I perform, I I sing and then I dance. But notice that the word sing comes first. Because I'm a singer first. And then I'm a dancer. But I'm so thankful na yung mga dancers na yung nagbibigay buhay at kulay sa lahat ng mga concerts, ang, ay sila naman ngayon ang nabibigyan ng importance and sila naman ngayon ang inilala, inilalagay dyan sa forefront. They are the stars of the show this time. And I want to be there. I want to support them. Because every concert that I have, minsan pagod na pagod na ako, but they're still there performing so nice. their hearts out. And um, I'm so happy na pinanggit yung mga pangalan na, uh, from mauban uh, nilala folk dancers. So you can see that it's all different genres of dance that are going to be featured here. Hindi lang yung mga nakikita natin on the music videos, but it's everything, even the ones we don't see, that uh, we're going to try and complete the picture. Kung baga sa rainbow, all the colors are going to be present in the world of dance for this particular dance fest people. 
Sir, bago magtanong po si Irol Dan Castro, yes. editor of Abante tonight, napakaganda ng opening number mo sa ASAP last week. <laughs> Within me, Nico Pascual and Dara Despanto. You cannot imagine kung... Taas ang energy mo doon, sir. Grabe. Eh, sino naman ang mga kasama ko doon, di ba? Yung mga kabataan, hindi pwede talaga mag, um, magpakalata na. Medyo <laughs> hingal na hingal na ako. Yeah. Naman, it was actually very yeah. simple. It was a very simple opening number. Pero sometimes, the simpler, the better. Yeah. We're just, you're just all moving at the same time and, and the songs was exacto. So, I enjoyed that. I'm looking forward to doing more of that. Galing, sir. Si Roldan po, yes, uh, Abante tonight. Uh, sir, meron ba kayo nakikita sa mga millennials ngayon na promising na pagdating sa sayawan? Two of them are already here. That's Darren Espato and uh, AC Bonifacio. Why do I say that? Because Darren is also a singer. And so is AC. So I can only mention it based on kung ano ang nakikita ko at kung ano na ang narinig ko. As a matter of fact, si Darren is uh, nominated for Best Collaboration with Anne Curtis, oh, diba? and, yes, yes. and Block 9 for Nanay Tatay. It's one of the songs in uh, in Awit at Laro. And uh, I was able to get all of them together. Ako nang produce ng kanta, pero they're the ones who are nominated, and I'm so excited. Na -na -nominate. It's nice to hear that the song that I worked on is nominated again. But I'm saying that now, with regard to Lady Pipai and, and Nikki Kama, um, and even DJ Ace Ramos, I mean, these are really young performers that are are moving up and are beginning to discover many, many things about themselves that they can later on expound in, you know, and, and, and extend. But with Darren Kase and AC, if you see AC dance, oh man, talagang mailagay mo siya sa kahit anong entablado, sa kahit anong sulok ng mundo. Mapapaano talaga siya. I mean, a lot of people will be wow by what she does. Darren naman, kumakanta at lahat, biglang pag humataw. Especially when he dances. I mean, vocally he's excellent, you know, par excellence. But when he dances, he has a certain edge to him. He's tall, he doesn't look awkward doing the moves. You know? But he can really keep up and step up to match any other type of group that dances with him. And ako yan, talagang saludo ako sa mga nanyan. Uh, sir, from Bandila and TV Patrol, MJ Felipe has, uh, <laughs> para kinakabahan ako sa mga dito. MJ, ha? Sige, sige. Hi, dear Gary. Hey, MJ. Uh, two questions. First, um, update on your health. Are you 100% uh, good to go when it comes to dancing? Yeah, uh, right now, yes. I'm 100%. The doctor said go. You know, you can actually push yourself, Gary. It's fine. But on a personal standpoint, I feel now it's not just it's not just my health. It's also my age. So I have to be able to um, balance everything so that even after a show or, or if I'm dancing with younger people, I don't look like I'm I'm slowing down or what. I, I that's one thing I cannot do and I cannot I will never do. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I, I'm actually going to start preparing very soon for my big concert, which is happening next year. Uh, it's happening sometime April or March. That's the target. But ngayon pa lang, I want to start talking about it and working on it right. and seeing what we can come up with. 30th? 40th? 36th. 36th. Okay. Uh, one last question. The most pressing issue 